Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make healthy snacks. The first snack we're going to be making is Fruity Granola Yogurt Parfait. The first thing you'll need is a cup, any size. The second thing you'll need is plain yogurt, or flavored yogurt. And you'll need granola and any fruit that is preferably frozen. So the first thing I'm going to do is you want to add a half a cup of granola. And then you want to add three fourths of a cup of yogurt. So you want to get a spoon. and then put the yogurt into the cup. Mm -hmm. So that's a half a cup. And then we're going to add half of a half cup. Okay. Okay, next you want to add a half a cup of frozen, of any frozen fruit. Alright, I have a strawberry right here. And since um, they don't come in like slices or anything, I'm just going to put a couple in. There. And then... You're going to add some more granola. Half a cup. Add a After that, you're gonna get want to get some more yogurt. The same as before. One cup and a half, uh, three cup, three fourths of a cup of cup. You're gonna add that in. And then add some more strawberries.
you don't have to repeat the, you can just do the first set of steps if you want or you can add more next we're making apple donuts so the ingredients you will need first ingredient you will need is an apple and a cutting board so then you want to you want to cut the apple like i do right now so you're going to cut the apple in half and then make like slices so like this and then you want to cut a hole through the middle like this and these apple donuts are like not perfect at all there are machines or like manual machines that do this for you not on purpose i mean they aren't made for that but they still do it for you if you have that please use it it's quite hard to do it this way next thing you'll need is well there's a lot of to toppings you can use there's yogurt, Nutella. It was, that's basically peanut butter. And for the actual toppings on top, you can use anything you want. For example, I'm using for example, I'm using chocolate chips and chia seeds. So I'm gonna use Nutella for the icing. This is not perfect, but you're gonna eat it, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Next, I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some chia seeds on it. And then I'm gonna put one or two, one, two or three apple, one or two chocolate chips on it. And then it's ready to eat. You can do this on any, you can use any apple, you can use any toppings for this if you want. Just make sure that they're relatively healthy. Next, we're making granola banana pops. You'll need a banana, first of all. I'm gonna peel it. Make sure it doesn't break. Well, mine did break, but. So, I'm just gonna take the broken part and the unbroken part and put it on a plate. And I'm gonna put a popsicle stick up the big one. Not all the way up, just like right here. And then for the small one, I'm gonna place another popsicle stick. And you're gonna want to get some Nutella or peanut butter. I'm gonna put Nutella on the on one of them and peanut butter on the other. Okay, one of the popsicle sticks fell out, but I'll just put it in before I freeze it.
and it doesn't have to be perfect, like I always say, but you kind of want to get Nutella all around, because to, for the granola to stick on it, you're going to take some granola, and you're going to put it on a plate, your plate, and then you're just going to put the banana with the Nutella, and just roll it around. Mine does not look good, but I'm gonna place it down and do the other one with peanut butter. Freeze for 30 minutes. This was made for a project for school. That doesn't mean I don't care about the topic, but it was made for a project. And it would be really helpful if there's there's a Google forms in the description. And to determine the effectiveness of my action which is this video I have to have a, a certain number of people who fill out the Google Forms if you have any extra time can you please do that if you don't it's fine